So what's the best way to get around town from Ybor City to Channel Side and all the way to downtown Tampa? Well, the Tico Line streetcar system, of course. <laughs> ticket purchased at this ticket vending machine. There's one at every streetcar station or you can buy a one trip or one day pass on board with exact cash. We're starting off in Ebor at Station 1, also known as Centennial Park Station because it's right next to Centennial Park, the place for many events throughout the year, including Flan Fest, Festa Italiana, the Ebor Arts and Crafts Festival, parades, and more. Also right next door is the Ebor Museum State Park, and on the other side of the tracks on 7th Avenue is the renowned Columbia Restaurant. Are you ready? All aboard the streetcar! The second stop, the Tampa Bay Federal Credit Union Station, will bring you to the footstep of Centro Ebor, the heart of all things happening in Ebor City day and night. As you approach the Streetcar Society Station, take appreciation of surrounding historic buildings, including the Don Vincente de Ibor Historic Inn, named after Ibor City founder Vincente Martinez Ibor. Originally built in 1895, it was refurbished and then reopened in 2000 as a boutique hotel. Across the way, you'll find plenty of unique eateries, sure to please any appetite. Next up is Cadracha Station. It's at the footstep of a parking facility and it's convenient to just park your car and hop on the streetcar as you spend your day between Ebor City, Channel Side, and downtown Tampa. While at the stop, stop by Jose Marti Park, a tiny part of Tampa that's actually owned by Cuba. Next door is the Ebor Square Complex, a cluster of picturesque buildings once used as cigar factories and today still stand as a symbol of Ebor's resilience and Tampa's cultural diversity. As you approach the Port Authority Station, you approach the Channel District. And next, at the York Street Station, you quickly come up on Tampa's Cruise Terminal. The sight of cruise ships and cargo is so magnificent and overwhelming, it's really no surprise that Tampa has evolved as a year-round bustling port and an economic engine for this city. Next up is Cumberland Avenue Station. Hop off here to hop on the American Victory Ship. Visitors can come aboard a fully functioning 1940s era steamship. The Florida Aquarium is also here and it showcases the aquatic animals and ecosystems of Florida and from around the world. Ever heard of Yacht Starship Dining Cruises? It's located near the Tampa Tribune Station with your choice of making it a memorable day with a brunch, lunch or dinner cruise. Or also near the Tampa Tribune Station is the Tampa Bay History Center. Step inside to experience 12,000 years of powerful stories. HSBC Station brings you to the iconic Tampa Bay Times Forum home of concerts, shows, and activities year-round, and of course, home to the Tampa Bay Lightning.
Dick Greco Plaza, named after Tampa's three-time mayor, Dick Greco, has you at the footsteps of major hotels and the Tampa Convention Center. Whiting Station is the last stop, leaving you at the footstep of downtown Tampa's big and tall buildings, parks, museums, and more. This is also a connection point to the Harp bus system to take you further into downtown or wherever else you want to go.